Whoa, whoa there, lad. What do you think you're doing? Slaying a savage dragon, are you? Well, I don't know where you're looking, lad, because I don't see any savage dragons around here. The only savage I see here is the one holding his sword against mine. Now put that thing away. Yes, I'm serious. Put your sword away before I run mine through your chest. Good lad. Now then, let me guess. You're some adventurer type, eh? Thought you go wandering around in the forest, see if you can find dragons to slay. Am I in the right area thinking that, lad? Aye, I thought as much. Well, lucky for you. I'm feeling in a good mood today. So I'm gonna look past the fact that you nearly killed my friend here. Yes, he's my dragon. He's a forest glider, which means he doesn't breathe fire. And I call him a Z. That's right. Apology accepted. I understand that you didn't know. Which, I'm assuming, means that you don't know about dragon tamers either. I thought as much. Well, never for it. We do keep ourselves to ourselves for a reason. Oh, I am not the only one, lad. There are plenty of dragon tamers around. We all tame dragons to help us out with various different things that we do in our lives. Many of them are tamed to help with construction, some with companionship, and some with travel. As that here is my good buddy that has followed me around through thick and thin. Found the poor little bugger of clinging for dear life to a tree. I reckon he fell out of his nest and broke his wing on the way down. I nursed him back to health and he's been with me ever since. So what do Azit and I do all day? Well, he helps me out with hunting. And every once in a while, if I need to scout the territory, he'll let me ride on his back. So we can scout around and see if there's anyone invading our territory, and if we need to defend from any other dragons. Oh, he's very helpful like that. I even reckon he'll let you pet him if you show that you're not going to hurt him. Aye, oh, he's a bonny little lad when you get to know him. Full of personality, this one. What's that? You want to know where to find more dragon riders? Well, I'm afraid I can't help you there, lad. Like I say, we keep to ourselves for a reason. We don't want any outsiders interfering with us. We have nothing to do with them, and they have nothing to do with us. What? Then teach you how to ride a dragon yourself? <laughs> oh, lad, you can't be serious. You wish to ride a dragon after almost slaying mine. <laughs> you think you're going to get a dragon to trust you? <laughs> well, you got spirit. I can give you that much. Oh, hear me right, lad. I respect you for your spirit. And maybe one day you might even be able to tame your own dragon. But right now, you ain't got a hope, son.
Well, having a dragon around isn't going to be an easy task. A dragon is for life, lad. Even longer, maybe. A dragon's going to outlive you by a long stretch. You know, so long as you look after it and you don't get it killed in battle. Aye, they're a lot of hard work, but they are also very rewarding. Well, you got to earn trust with them. No dragon's going to just simply let you ride on their back straight away. You've got to show them you're no threat. Plus, not every species of dragon is the same, you know. Some are a little easier to domesticate than others. And some of them? Well, you cannot domesticate them all. You can build alliances with some of them. But so long as you've got something that the dragon wants, that's how long they'll help you. Yeah, gold and gems are one thing, but most dragons just want food. It's a common misconception with dragons. <laughs> Aye, you got it right, lad. Humans are the ones who are greedy. Dragons are just trying to survive. They are animals, after all. Very intelligent ones, but animals nonetheless. They have no idea what material value actually means. They know that humans covet some things like gold and gems, but they don't know why. To this effect, the reason why they might hoard some of these things is simply because they know that it'll draw humans to them and potential food sources. Oh, aye. There's no need for a dragon to spend all that treasure, is there? But if you can lure food to him without having to go out and hunt for it, that's the real worth of the gold for him. Was it, lad? You wish to go riding on Azet's back? Hmm. Well... If you're serious about wanting to have your own dragon, then... I suppose Azet and I could probably take you under our wing, as it were. Train you in the ways of being a dragon rider, I suppose. And I guess, showing you some of the benefits of having a dragon might not hurt as well. Give you a bit of motivation to become a dragon rider yourself. Probably even help you learn some respect for dragons. Ah, it's always as I say. Education is better than damage control. If more people were willing to accept education on dragons, maybe we'd all be able to live in harmony. Rather than having to live in this hostile, volatile environment that we currently do, fighting each other and having to repair the damages done to each side. It's a senseless war if you think about it. Each of us are just trying to live. Why waste time in life making enemies when life's too short for that? Try and work with each other. Make life a little bit easier for yourselves, you know. <sighs> anyway, sorry about that, lad. I always get a little bit philosophical when I talk about dragons. But, for now, how about we go for a fly together? Great. All right, is it? Get ready. We're going to take flight. And I fancy going to the beach for a bit. How about you, lad?
quite the view from up here, isn't it? <laughs> I never do quite get used to it. It's just something so serene about it. To be high up above it all. The feel of the breeze against your face. <laughs> the low rumbles of a happy dragon. It's where they feel most free, you know. I can't say I blame them. It takes the weight of my shoulders, if you know what I mean. I don't have to think about too much up here. And it lets me know that there's more to this world than what we see. Humans just get so bogged down by their everyday lives, you know. They get complacent. Lazy, even. They never think to themselves, What lies beyond the horizon? What am I missing out there? Oh, never you mind, lad. I'm just musing. You should really want to know. Well, I won't reveal all my secrets, but... I will tell you a little bit of a story about myself. I come from a village where... Everything's just so basic. Everyone believes that black and white is all there is to this world. No such thing as nuances or grey areas. They believe the craziest things. They think we live on a flat planet with a boundary to it. Like you could drop off the edge of it. I just can't get behind that. If there was an edge to this world, then... Surely we would feel... A tip in the balance if things did fall off. What do I think then? Well, I believe that if you go far enough in one direction, you'll eventually come back to where you started, like you've gone round this planet. I don't know if I'd say that I think it's spherical or anything, but I certainly believe that if you go straight long enough, you'll just find yourself back where you started. <laughs> the look on your face says it all, lad. It's because of that kind of look that I decided I was going to leave the village. Got sick of people looking at me like I was crazy. Of course, they think I was even more crazy now if they saw me riding a dragon. But I don't care. I'm happy with the way I live. Not having to be tied down by any laws. Roaming the world free of anything than anyone who could ever look to hold me back. I live by my own rules. So long as I do the least amount of damage in this world, I think I've done a good job. Whenever I cut a tree down for firewood, I plant another one in its stead. For every animal I have to kill for food, 
I help the offspring to thrive. The circle of life, you know. And I think we could all appreciate that more if we just saw things from a different perspective. Such as from up here. Where you can see the beauty of it all. <laughs> I see that look in your eye, lad. You're already starting to see a different perspective, aren't you? You're starting to see things from a dragon's eye view. And you're admiring it the same as dragons do. And you know what? That gives me hope. It makes me hopeful that you'll actually be a good dragon rider. And you'll look after your dragon. Alright. You've convinced me. I'm gonna take you under my wing as a dragon rider. And maybe in the future, I'll be able to teach you how to train a dragon. <laughs>